not a place, it's a feeling. Hello everyone and welcome to the brand new episode of Dream Home Season 7 powered by Johnson Tiles, co-presented by ACC Cements, Prayag and HPL Vyas. Myself, Arshana Ravi and now it's time to welcome our wonderful panel of judges. First, we have Ms. Sudha from Swasti Architects. And now I welcome Mr. Jibu John from Jibu and Thomas Architects. Welcome. And now we present before you a very beautiful home from Kotiam which is Cherukota. So let's take a look at the home. What's up family? My name is Danish Karthik and welcome to a brand new episode of Dream Homes Season 7. We're at Cherukota House in the district of Kortim. It's a massive 4,500 square foot property with a sloping roof. Let's take a look inside. Follow me. Something cool about the front area over here is that we have tons of buffalo grass. It's great for if you want to have a picnic, that type of thing. We have lots of trees, lots of greenery, lots of nature-esque type of uh, environment over here. We have a brick entrance. <music> Now something that you may notice from the front entrance over here is that there's lots of stone. There's stone cladding over here, the staircase over there is made of stone. Um, other than that we've got some rustic finished tiles over here. My favorite part specifically is right here, the water court. We've got some fish in there and obviously, obviously this tree. We've got huge windows over here letting in lots of light and it's just beautiful. Over here in this door we have some glass, over there we have some uh, French windows. Now coming indoors, the first thing that you see to your left is the drawing room and how elegant is this? From the couches to the table to the fixtures, the Roman blinds, it's just so light, so happy and so uplifting. Now something that I find interesting are some of the artifacts that we have here. We have these white chandeliers, we have these yellow pillows, yellow and red pillows and the couches, the sofas are white. So the color scheme just seems to be a very bright light. Just to give you a small idea about this place, we've got our dining area over here. We have a courtyard to the right, a courtyard to the left. We have our drawing room over there. Behind me to my right, we have two bedrooms, a living room, and a courtyard. And to the left over there, we have uh, two other bedrooms. <music> Now over here we have uh, this very, very large window glass which um, lets in so much light. Now if you don't want so much light, we have the shutters that come all the way down to the floor. Now this uh, dining table 
has, uh, it's, it's mainly wood and it has a glass countertop. Now elegance is definitely key, especially in the kitchen area. We've got textured paint over here. We've got a large glass looking into the courtyard. We've got wood all around. Now we have some custom fixtures over here. We have some tile on the walls. We have wood fixtures everywhere. And if you look over here, the lights, in addition to the front light over there, it's just allowing lots, and, uh, lots of light into this room. Uh, over here behind me we have the work area, so let's take a look at that side, the courtyard area. Here in the third courtyard, we have this wooden deck area be below me. Above me is this per pergola design which allows lots of light into this room. Behind me we have this huge massive wall which separates the formal and informal areas. To my left we have some greenery. Now when I say living room, I'm talking comfort. And what's more comfortable than a leather sofa? In addition to that, we have hardwood floors, white paneling over here, textured paint behind me, some chandeliers, and get this, large windows. And we finally arrived here in the master bedroom. So this is a king size bed over here, some wood paneling, some paintings, some fixtures all around, lots of wood. And here we have something that all the ladies will like, the dressing room. It's all wooden. And perhaps the most interesting thing of them all, check it out over here. This courtyard with the wood floors, the pergola above me, the greenery, the tiles, is actually a master bathroom. Now I'm in one of the bedrooms over here. We have this queen size bed over here, uh, a nice wooden headroom with some leather uh, fixture over here, some paintings, a very, very nice sofa if you don't feel like sitting on the bed. And check this out. That's an awesome view, right? Opposite to me, we have this wooden, very spacious dressing area. And to the left of that, we have the very nice bathroom. Now coming into this bedroom, 
you get the feeling of a very luxurious, maybe almost like a, a hotel type of feeling. We have uh, the table and chair over here, Romanian blinds, we have matte finished floors, we have this nice bed, stucco textured paint behind me. It's a purple in color, and over there we have wardrobe area and a bathroom. Now adjacent to the dining area, we have this beautiful wooden staircase with glass on this side and a textured paint to the left with some pergola design over here. And it basically leads into the uh, terrace area slash attic. ഫാമിലി <laughs> അതുപോലെ തന്നെ ബെഡ്റൂംസ് എല്ലാവരും എല്ലാം കോർണറിലാണ് ഒരു സെൻട്രൽ കോട്ട് യാർഡിന് ചുറ്റിലുമാണ് ഇത് പ്ലാൻ ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നത് വളരെ ഓപ്പൺ പ്ലാനാണ് you know the wonderful landscaping outside it really feels like the house the house is set in a big area of land the exterior is quite suited to the land and uh, since it's elevated and the house also with the high pitch roof it gives a wonderful feeling of a, a good space and i would uh, rate it at uh, around 7.5 7.5 out of 10 for the exteriors ms suda it's a large space probably an estate kind of a place where uh, the house is uh, set in uh, the long driveway to the house the uh, vast areas of lawn that actually leads up to the house the verandas that have uh, been placed along with the pitched roof the two way uh, sloped roof actually merges beautifully within the surroundings so it's a 7 out of 10 from me 7 out of 10 no interiors it gives a tropical feel i i think the furnitures and everything used is basically of a, a tropical nature the dining table um, living room furniture is uh, fully upholstered but it is a subtle color they have used some colorful pillows otherwise the wooden steps and the overall color combinations used uh, with the um, you know windows and the green finger palms outside there is actually the tree which acts as a focal element mm. uh from the dining room i think overall interior uh is quite good and i would rate it at 7.5 7.5 out of 10 mr da i i love the planning of each room along with courtyards i think i counted about three courtyards uh the verandas which are in continuation the courtyards that uh step out of the veranda into the house you can actually see from the dining room into the veranda through the courtyard another courtyard through which you could walk out so basically the interiors and the exteriors have sort of gelled together that is they've been interwoven together and uh, that way the interior decor also states is muted it's not bright colors it's not something that's added on it's all earth shades light browns dark browns creams it goes very well together uh, mark 7 7 out of 10 now let's see about the decor and lighting basically the lamp shades are not major elements they use more of glass warm lights the lighting uh, overall for the verandas it is those um, surface mounted clean lights which doesn't hang up 
So the lighting has been treated very well and it is quite subtle and quite elegant. I would say I will give a 7.4 out of 10. 7.4 out of 10, Ms. Sudha. The whole thing is woven very well. Mm -hmm. The earth colours itself has been used in beautiful shades and um, different textures also and used correctly. The courtyard seating is different with the uh, yard seating that is in the landscape itself. You have these wrought iron chairs. So all those have been carefully selected according to its uh, position. So altogether it's a beautiful place, 7.5. 7.5 out of 10. Now landscaping. They have actually interwoven the landscape into the house also. There is a tree, uh, the focal point and then there are a lot of finger palms. Uh, the seating has been arranged around it. Externally also the natural landscaping is there, the la natural trees are there. So overall landscaping also plays a very nice part to it. Uh, for landscaping I think I have given 7.5. 7.5 out of 10, Ms. Sudha. Landscape is so beautifully merged in. Uh, we saw all the features of the trees, uh, the new young trees in the courtyard which is sort of coming into the house as well as the uh, massive tank, the fish tank or the aquarium that was there. So altogether it's a, a very natural and uh, free flowing house. So the landscape is also brought into the house and it's done beautifully, the driveway is sort of, it doesn't expose the entire house fully, it sort of meanders before it reaches the entrance. So altogether it's a beautiful uh, landscaping and I've given it an 8. 8 out of 10 for landscaping by Ms. Sudha. Now what about the kitchen? Kitchen also is uh, good, it is, they've gone completely wood I think, uh, it uh, merges with the total thing and um, they've gone for a, a slightly red highlighted wall which is different and I would say kitchen I can give 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10, Ms. Sudha? Slightly uh, disagree with uh, Jibu in the fact that that wall there could have been a lighter shade. It's a corner I think where there's not much light so it has a dark background with the wooden shelves. So it's not really highlighted, the wood or the uh, wine glasses that are there. It's probably a sort of bar counter kind of an end to the kitchen. So altogether the kitchen marks 6. 6 out of 10. Bathroom? Actually that interesting aspect of uh, merging the courtyard with the bathroom. So that is actually something good, you know, you you, you just don't feel like you're in the bathroom, it's just like another room like we, re we see in a lot of resorts now. So that kind of a planning is integrated which is quite commendable I think. Uh, for bathrooms, I would give 7.5. 7.5 out of 10 for bathrooms by Mr. Jibu. I like the fact that the rest of the bathrooms which you really don't want to expose is tucked away to one side with a dark background. So it's done very well. I've gone for a 8. 8 out of 10. What about flooring? Flooring is very approvable. Gone for the beige and wood combination again. Mm -hmm. So it is actually quite uh, good. It gels with the entire house, gels with the landscape, gels with whatever they've tried to achieve. So I will, uh, I will give 7.4 for flooring also. 7. 0.4 out of 10 for flooring and what do you think about it? I, I really like that grey strip that runs throughout. It's, it's there almost in all the rooms but it usually when you give a border like this it sort of restrains, it constricts the room, it sort of defines the room but here the, you find that that line is actually taking you across to the next room and to the next room so I thought it was really very nice, very magical. I'm giving it an 8. 8 out of 10. Now what do you think about the wardrobe? Wardrobe uh, is also wood just like the kitchen but here they have gone for that small um, small element of white uh, panelling uh, with a different material. Wardrobe also I would uh, give 7.5. 7.5 out of 10 and what about you Ms. Sudha? What I noticed was the wardrobes are not kept in the bedroom itself, it's slightly recessed. So I felt that if a person was actually handling the 
wardrobe he would be in another space not within the bedroom area so that way it's nicely tucked in and like he said the design is also very nice it's very interesting so i thought it's really thought about the wardrobe space so i'd go for an eight eight out of ten paintings painting uh, exterior they've gone for a white paint uh, with the traditional roof uh, which uh, more or less blends with the entire thing interior again off white ivory no major uh, experiments are done with color even the tv panel is uh, off white i would give 7.2 out of 10 7.2 out of 10 ms suda they've been very restrained with the kind of textures and the colors that they've used highly commendable very nice except for that kitchen otherwise i think it was very nice so i'll go for 7 7 out of 10 and now we all are very keen to know about the value for money and what about that value for money i'll give 7.5 because uh, i feel it's uh, worth the money they've spent okay 7.5 out of 10 and masuda very much very well worth the money spent 7 7 7 out of 10 so the total marks given by Ms. Sudha is 73.5 and by Mr. Jibo is 74 which makes a total of 147.5 out of 200. A house is made up of bricks and beam but a home is made up of dreams and hopes. With this thought we are winding up for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Until then it's goodbye and God bless from the entire team of Dream Home Season 7 powered by Johnson Tiles, co-presented by ACC Cements, Prayag and HPLYS signing off.